So this is going to be the best of my thrift store finds from 2022. And I just had an amazing year, actually better than 2021. And um, really, you know, I just got out there. I talked to people. I met people, found out where there were some records. And I have a lot to show you today. And almost all of them are from thrift stores and, and some from secondhand stores and Bill's Garage. Something else in this video we went to the Northern Nevada Railroad Museum and we rode the Christmas train. We do it um, just about every year. It was just fantastic. And uh, so I'm going to show you the train right now. This is a train built in locomotive uh, built in 1905 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All right, check it out. Pretty amazing train, huh? Let's get right into the records. And in a little while, I'm going to show you how the kids did. Sean and Landon, his next door neighbor, did meeting Santa. But here, right ahead, I'm not going to tell you how many records these are. We're going to get through them. First of all, it was very, very great to find a Funkadelic. And I only have about two records in this uh, massive stack that are uh, worn. Uh, well, more than a few, actually. So, Funkadelic, Maggot Brain, and check this out, man. Here's the, uh, I'm not going to show you the uh, the labels on a lot of them, but here is Maggot Brain on Westbound. Westbound Records. Stoked to have this. I have the repress, but I like that one even better, and it sounds good. There's some pops and clicks on that one. Hey, how's my hat doing? Okay. So, and and next up is a 1979 um, pressing of uh, Are You Experienced, Jimi Hendrix. And this is just cool. Now, a lot of these records, I'm not going to, you know, show you what the value is on Discogs for each record. I mean, there's just too many of them. But you're going to know, you're going to know which ones are valuable. And uh, this, this sounds good. This is uh, really fantastic. I mean, it is double mint. It's not just minty fresh. Double mint. And what's really cool is that 90, uh, 79 pressing has this inner sleeve like that. And on the reprise label, very simply, James Marshall Hendrix. And next I want to show, this is the only record that is a little bit offbeat. I'm waiting for Bob Dylan's New book, 66 uh, essays on different singer-songwriters, and I can't wait. And he talks so much about Johnny Paycheck. And I scored this Johnny Paycheck gospel album. And it's this is what it's like thrifting. You find things that are unusual. Space-age music. Gospel records. I mean, there's just so much to find out there. And, you know, just networking and connecting with people. And asking questions like, do you have any records? Do you have any more records in the back? All that kind of stuff. Maybe even traveling outside of your, your town uh, if it's dried up. And also going on instinct. But Johnny Paycheck, and check out that guitar. Now next up, this was really wonderful to find this Osabisa. This is very recent, and if you watch my channel, I know a lot of you have uh, seen this one with the great Roger Dean artwork. And this is just, this is near mint, absolutely. And then to find television in Bill's garage, not only adventure, right? Not only this, but Marquee Moon as well. Oh yeah. Found them both. 
I was shocked. So great. And then to find uh, an original pressing U.S. press of never mind the bollocks, Sex Pistols. Now I have another one, I'll brag on it, that is so mint, minty fresh, $1.50 from St. Vincent's Thrift Store uh, in uh, actually in Sparks, Nevada. But this one is just cool to have. So I have two of them. There's the back cover. And then also at Bill's Garage to find Kevin Seconds and his brother, uh, Steve Youth. Just cool. I'd never had any Seven Seconds records, and now I do. These guys are from Reno. Reno, Nevada, right here. Hardcore punk rock. And this is New Wind. And then from a second-hand store, I found a bunch of a bunch of punk rock records. Here we have Rock for Light, Bad Brains. Cool, huh? And here's the band on the back. And if you know anything about Rodney Binghamheimer, then you know Rodney on the Rock from Los Angeles had these comps. And I didn't get one, I got two of them. And they sound great. I mean, we have Minutemen, Black Flag, Red Cross, Agent Orange, Gleaming Spires, Little Girls, Twisted Roots, Target 13. Look at that. It's cool. This is Volume 3. This is the cleanest of the bunch. Kent State, Vandals, Pariah, Red Scare, No Crisis, Rudy, Early Bangles. Radio Music, David Hines, Unit 3. I think I said Unit 3. Oh, man. And this, this record just sounds so, so good. I never thought I'd have any Rodney on the Rock uh, comps, but I do. And then uh, Canadian Hardcore Punk, SNFU. Are you kidding me? I found this. This is the original look with the back with a green cover. OG, oh, baby. Really nice to have. And then um, in, in Bill's Garage, the best of Funkadelic. Absolutely. They came out of James Brown's band. Yes, they did, with a vengeance. Funkadelic, the best of. And then One Nation, Under a Groove. Boom. Cool. Glad to have this. And there's that really great back cover. And then to find some Queens right, the warning was just fantastic. And here's the band. And I could not believe <clears throat> in Bill's garage when I found a Beastie Boys. Yeah, original. Original. Nice. And here's a very rare early cover from Killing Is My Business. That's Megadeth. And here are the songs. And if you notice my voice, it was so cold out there at the uh, Railroad Museum. I mean, it was butt cold. And uh, yeah, I have a little bit of a cold. No problem. Now, earlier in the year, early January of 2022, I found a Lee Morgan Sidewinder. This is a Liberty Pressing, and I paid, um, paid $2 for this. And I might as well show you the, the wax on this one right there for that uh, Blue Note Records Liberty Pressing. And next up, the same month, I found something else, different day, same, same secondhand store, Cannonball, Miles, Hank Jones, Sam Jones, Art Blakey, Killer and No Filler, Autumn Leaves, Love is for Sale, Love's for Sale, something else, one for Daddy-O, and Dancing in the Dark. And you got to love the Blue Note sleeves, absolutely. Now, more recently, Jimmy Smith, The Sermon, 
on Blue Note. And uh, you got Lou Donaldson, Tina Brooks, Kenny Burrell, Art Blakey, and Donald Bailey. There's the lineup there. Now check this out. Found a craft work at a secondhand store. These averaged out to be about $5 a record. Uh, you just don't see these that often. You might in regular brick and mortar record stores, but not out in the real wild. Not that much. And then here's a Harvest Press of uh, Pink Floyd metal. And uh, there's the Harvest logo. So cool. Same secondhand store. Original master recording, Dark Side. This sounds absolutely wonderful. Stellar. Great shape. The jacket. Uh, VG plus, almost plus plus, and the vinyl is near mint. Absolutely, really taken care of. And then this was cool. This is Genesis Collection. I got to get the hat going there. Genesis Collection Volume One, and this has both Nursery Crime and Trespass in it. Absolutely, positively. Wonderful. Yeah, that's a good one. And secondhand store, average for about four or five bucks each. I never had a copy of The Last Waltz. And I took I took the big uh, outer sleeves off on all, a lot of these, just so you could see the, the jackets nicely. I was going to undress all of them, but you know what? This is good enough. And then a Derek of the Dominoes. This is my second, but this is on an older Adco label. For Eric Clapton with Bobby Whitlock, Derek and the Dominoes. And let me show you the uh, Adco wax on this one. Here's side four. Very, very nice. And this one I paid a dollar for it. This is a harvest. This was about February of 2022. One dollar for a harvest dark side. And this is my favorite dark side. I have four now, actually. This one just sounds amazing. Love it. UK Press Harvest. And this is a second, actually. This is not an original. I don't care. It sounds that good. Now, walked into a thrift store and found Pearl. And guys, this was sealed. This was unreal. Like, what is a remastered, sealed Janis Joplin doing, you know, in a seal, sea of Monavani? And I mean, just, you know, it, that was just, it was sitting right up front. Although I did get a few good records that day. And uh, very, very nice on this repress. And a few soundtracks that I got. Edda Salvation Army, The Good, Bad, and the Ugly, Near Mint. I mean, really, I'm being conservative. This is just looks, well, the record is just looks unplayed. Absolutely unplayed. And I might as well show it off because it's just beauteous. On the UA... United Artists. Now, we're getting pretty good here. Here's a sealed Spanish Linda, Linda Ronstant. Right. Very fortunate to run across this record. Very, very nice. And I've been looking for this uh, Moontan Golden Earring for so long. Minty, mint condition. Fantastic. I love Golden Earring, and here's the songs here. I hope to find some more. Their early stuff is great. And <clears throat> from Mendocino, California, Michael Hedges, 
passed away on the highway to Cloverdale, California. A car wreck. Treacherous road. You got to be careful on that one. Driving from Cloverdale to Mendocino, Little River, Fort Bragg. Michael Hedges. What an what a artist. What a guitarist. For me, the best, one of the best Wyndham Hill musicians. And this soundtrack is really hard to find. An officer and a gentleman in just perfect, pristine condition. Yeah. And oh yeah, let's see how the kids did with Santa Claus. <laughs> Sean, there's Santa. Merry Christmas! Hi, Santa. Guy on the naughty list or the nice list? Nice. Nice, nice. nice list. He's very insistent he's on the nice list. That usually means there's something suspicious going on. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sean, was I naughty? Did I break the rules? Yes, was Santa yep, mad at me? Yep, 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 yep. No, he didn't see, but that's pretty well. Yeah, I sent this guy on the naughty list. No, 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 I was close. Look, that's all I know. <laughs> I think this guy might, might be on the naughty list. No. I hope not. No, I think you guys are good. No, 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 no. The only one I think is on the list is... Is me. So where I got into trouble was I ate the candy cane, and I wasn't supposed to because it's an old vintage train. And they told me not to, and I did anyway, so the kids... I mean, they gave me a hard time, and my wife too. On to the records. For some soundtracks, Goldfinger, very, very nice condition. Great to add this to my soundtracks. I really am beefing up a lot of soundtracks. And check this one out. Peter Sellers, Ringo Starr, The Magic Christian. Wonderful to have. Come and get it. A Day in the Life, really great. Something in the Air, and there's the back cover. So, uh, once again, that, that cool hype. And then I really, really enjoy getting this one. This has My Way, the Paul Anka pen tune that Sinatra made famous, but this is Nina Hagen. Yeah. I used to hang out with her uh, guitarist, um, one of her later guitar guitarists in about the mid-90s. And then Status Quo. Never had any. Now I've got some Quo. Wonderful album. Great live album. There's the Quo. And I hope to get more in 2023. And Brinsley Schwarz, I mean... Love this band and never had any at all, ever, ever. So this is really fun to have. And what is a sealed, repress, Target exclusive Motown Ones doing at a thrift store? Sealed. Found this one. You know, a lot of times I'll get off work, I'll stop. It's, it's like decompressing for me. But I go a lot anyway. And again, you know, talking to people, um, they know me, I know them at the thrift stores. So uh, now I found two, not one, but two albums by The Alarm. Love this band. So this is just fantastic. And here's the back cover of the EP. And back in January, this is triple mint, not double mint, close to the edge, yes. I mean, this is just unplayed. It wasn't sealed, but the way the record pulled out, you could tell it had never even been pulled out of the jacket. Close to the edge, Steve Howe, Bill Bruford, John Anderson, Chris Squire, Rick Wakeman. 
And this, this from the secondhand store, Yes Songs, looks like the triple album that I bought in the mid 70s. I had one. And when I got this, I just thought, oh my God, it's just like my old one. So, I mean, record, record collecting is just amazing. And if you get the hang of thrifting, that's what's cool. And ain't that a bitch. Johnny Guitar Watson. Love this one. Now I have two Johnny Guitar Watsons. There's the man. Great influence to Frank Zappa and uh, Steve Miller. Stranglers 4. Nice. This is Bill's Garage. Yep. Stranglers 4. And this one was around a month of... It was hot. This was August. And appropriately so. Fever Tree. In the month of August. I think I paid up at $5 for this one. <laughs> now I do, you know, in the last, um, ever since I've been in the vinyl community, I have scored a lot of psych. But uh, yeah, I had to show this one because this was just last summer. And that's one of our old stores that closed a long time ago, Mirabelli's. I love getting these records from our, our local brick and mortar uh Music shop. Now, Rage for Order? Queensryche? Yes. I'll take it. And just two more guys. The Millennium Begin. And of course, I just scored this one from 1968. I'm not going to comment on it. This is just such a, a wonderful record. Uh, prize possession, great to have, great shape, and lastly, my most recent good pickup <laughs> is Elmore James with Dust My Blues, it should be Dust My Broom, Blues After Hours, yeah, well, thanks for hanging in there with me, and uh, you know, this is only the really the tip of the iceberg, because I Scored a lot of other good records. And I'm going to show you the locomotive backing in to the train station. And guys, I'll see you on the next video. I'm going to Bill's this Sunday for another Thrift Store Finds Monday. All right. Have a great December.